Devontae Smith out of Alabama, six foot, 170 pounds, our consensus one, one rookie wide receiver. Now I haven't dove in deep on Jalen Waddle. So maybe Saying there's a chance I haven't, I haven't gone in uh, deep into this, the film study on him. Either. So, I have. I, he won't be my wife. Okay. Anymore. So the biggest. But from my quick review, I don't think he'll be my number one either. <laughs> well, probably not mine either, but I'm just I'm saying. <laughs> but you I never ha- know. There, you I'm never not know. Saying I'm not there's there. a chance. You never saying know. there's a chance. He's top four. Um, Devontae Smith. You're going to hear a lot of people knock him because, oh, he's six foot, 175 pounds. A lot of people are going to be hard up on 175 pounds. And I'm saying, hey, 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 relax, buddy. Relax. He's only 170 pounds. Yeah, he's only 170 <laughs> pounds. Okay. Maybe we'll have a burger on Turkey Day. Maybe he plays on Thanksgiving. He plays a little heavy. But. You know, there's guys like a good comp for him is a guy like Marvin Harrison, right? Yep. You see, you saw Chad Johnson, Chad Ochocinco come out and say, hey, I played 170 pounds. Like, sure, Chad, you probably played it more like 185, 190, but that's fine. You know, again, when you watch Devontae Smith play, he does not play like 175 that's pounds. Very no, 170 true. pounds. Very true. You know, we, we, when we talked about Jamar Chase and his block and his physicalness, I thought I saw better effort out of Devontae Smith. I 100% agree at with that. Six yep. foot 170 pounds. And what you get out of him is a guy who – just has amazing speed, change of direction, uh, quickness. I mean, this guy is smooth. so He's a guy that accelerates smooth. through cuts. You know what I mean? He doesn't gear down to make a cut. He accelerates through them and actually gains speed. He's so smooth. The ball is nowhere where he's not going to catch it. Yep. Like, he's always making full extensions. He's going to own the sideline. He's not afraid to use the, 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 run, uh, the middle of the field. No. What I also love about him, for being 170 pounds, you want to knock it? He does not. We see a lot of the receivers like him that run to the sideline to get out of bounds, not to make contact. He is staying in bounds, laying his shoulder down and getting upfield and taking an extra yard. And not only that, he'll extend the ball out if he's anywhere near that first down marker. I mean, this guy can make plays at all three levels of Definitely. the field. I love his route running. I love his hands. I love his smoothness. Like you said, he's silky smooth. His ball point skills are just unbelievable this guy in his shows in college i mean he's the first heisman trophy winner to receiver position in over 50 years that is insane that you don't have a receiver a skill position player that win the heisman he came in and he just dominated alabama and yes he's not gonna have the breakout age you want he's not gonna have years and years of production but that's fine this is a guy who played at a high level and dominated week in and week out at the sec see this is the tough part because i understand that he didn't have you know, amazing numbers as a true freshman, but he caught the game winning touchdown in the national championship game as a true freshman. Like, yeah. Okay. I, I feel like that makes up for, yeah, maybe you didn't have, you know, the extra 200 yards you wanted from him or whatever, He's but like, had a bunch of super talented wide receivers ahead of him that are really all great. like littered in the NFL right now. Yes. I mean, like give the guy a break. He's an amazing athlete. He's the smoothest guy I've watched in a long time yes. run routes. You say he's 170 pounds and he great he gives great effort in the run game. He gives more than great effort. He can move a guy at 170 pounds. It's because he plays with great leverage. He understands leverage in his routes as well. He does. Um, so he and that's a, that's another reason why he's not a guy that just goes out of bounds. He knows how to even even you know approaching a defender with the ball in his hands. He knows how to get him off balance a little bit in, in order to not take a big shot from these guys. And that's why I love that. I, I know his game is going to translate to the NFL. And, and and I don't have any issue with him being 170 pounds and handling the physicality of the NFL. Uh, recently, I, I got to do an interview with Matt Harmon. And this was another guy that we talked about, Devonta Smith. And one of the things that we, we talked quite a bit about, and I, I thought it was a great point. You would think that, okay, he's 170 pounds. I'm concerned about press coverage. Mm-mm. No. Nope. No, like he has no problem getting off press coverage. He uses his hands very, very well. His first step is extremely quick, and he doesn't let people body him up. Absolutely. So, like, I understand why people are saying, like, yeah, but he's he's so tiny as far as, like, his physique goes. Like, he's not a big guy. But the mentality that he plays with is just completely different level. He's another guy. He's on a winning program. He was the guy in the program. And even last year, even in 2019, when Jerry Judy was there, first round pick, Henry Ruggs, a first round pick, like it was Devonta Smith's team. And and I I, I wish I, I should have looked this up ahead of time, but I believe he had the most receiving yards out of all those guys. Jared, maybe you get a chance to look it up. Yeah, he had seven more yards than, than Jerry Judy. So he led the team 
multiple first rounders on that team. He led all of them in receiving yards in his junior campaign. I was shocked he didn't come out then. It, it doesn't surprise me because um, I didn't I didn't watch film last year on on Devontae Smith sure. at all. But I was concerned about some things in, in Jerry Judy's game, and it was it was the dog. I, I questioned how much dog he had, and I have none of those questions with Devontae Smith. It's it's completely the opposite story, um, as far as. I, I don't have any issues with with any f- part of the physical game with him, and he's only 170 pounds. So uh, it's a it's a big time it's a big time, I guess flip a uh, 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 you know you flip the narrative of a 170 uh, 70 pound wide receiver on its head with this guy because he just plays bigger than that. He's got so much dog in him, and he plays with the right leverage. And on top of that, most of the time with these wide receivers. It's it's the diva position, right? You know, it's guys with big attitudes, these really big personalities, and and that's part of the fun of the position. That's great. That's not Devonte either. Mm. He he's a very humble guy. Like I mean, his teachers are raving about him. Like this is a, like there is not a box that he doesn't check. Other than he's a little skinny, and that's and you know Jamar Chase. I was talking about how uh, when we broke him down uh, about how I feel like he he takes some plays off, and and that's the box I start checking is like is this guy a diva? That he can't run routes when it, when he's not the number one option. You don't see any of that with Devontae Smith. Yep. So I, uh, it, I that's that's why I I literally have nothing to knock about him except for his size. But I have no issue with his size. He's he's played through it yeah. and shown that he's more than capable. Yeah. Of doing so it. that's his one in the knock. SEC. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he's a wide receiver one. Yep. In my eyes, yep. uh, I mean everything he. Does, I mean he makes the circus catches. He makes. He, he, he gets on top of the, the cornerback every single time. He's always got separation. Did you guys see his wingspan? Oh, his arms are so long. He came in at six foot six wingspan. Jeez. Well, I mean, if you they showed the pictures of him from the sidelines and just <laughs> how long his arms are, just laying, ridiculous. Just laying at his sides. Of course, he's gonna have a, a huge uh, wingspan. I mean, he's just he's he's an odd, he's just an oddity, I guess, at the position yes. as far as body type. He's an outlier. And he's an outlier. Yep. Yeah, he, that's a, that's a better way to put it. He's an yeah, outlier. He's an outlier that I, I would absolutely love to have on any one of my teams. Uh, he's going to be productive for a very long time. This is the kind of guy who's, you know, barring a major injury mm-hmm. is going to have a very healthy, long, productive career. Uh, somebody that's going to not only help his NFL team, he is going to consistently score fantasy football points. I think one of the makes uh, what, I, what I think I told you when you we were talking a couple of days ago off there about Devonte Smith and how we both came to the same conclusion. It's like, and I said, made a comment. It's like, man, I definitely don't want to like, I made a mistake on Calvin Ridley. Like I didn't have Calvin Ridley as high in my dynasty rankings and my rookie rankings. I just, I didn't have him, And he's a good comp for a guy sure. like Devonte Smith. And right now you can argue Calvin Ridley is a top six dynasty startup wide receiver. That's how, that's how talented he's looked in Atlanta and Devontae Smith, I don't want to make that same mistake with him. And I think Devontae Smith could be better than I do. Calvin I Ridley. I do too. For I, sure. So I think you can use him in different ways. Yeah, so I'm ignoring the size. I hope other people want that size as a factor. But for me, wh- when I said I would take Kyle Pitts ahead of him, it's because I think Kyle Pitts is that much of a game changer. But I have no problem. Like If I had George Kittle and Hawkinson, I'd for sure take Devontae well, Smith. Even, you know I mean? even last year. CD Lamb was actually teetering on the borderline of that like BMI mark, you know. Like there's a lot of these receivers that don't necessarily always have as much weight. And we're also taking away the option for him to get bigger. Like he could always get a little bit bigger. Maybe he won't. Yeah. I don't know. But he but it's not inconceivable that he could add 10 to 15 pounds at the NFL level. He doesn't strike me as a guy that needs to. I don't think um, he does either. So if if you know, if he if he does naturally, I feel like that's yeah. okay. I don't think he needs to go out of his way, bulk up, slow down, no. tighten up, or anything like that. Because he doesn't the, need to go DK. He's he too doesn't, fluid yeah, for that. I mean, exactly. he's already just too fluid. I mean, yeah. the guy gets in and out of his breaks with ease. Doesn't yep. change any direction. Will catch everything thrown his way. Owns the sideline. Will go out to make a contested catch. Will will stay in bounds. Will lower the shoulder. Will play over mm-hmm. the middle. I mean, he literally does everything you absolutely want out of a receiver. There's nothing he can't do. Yeah, he doesn't have the size, but he has the talent, which is much more important. We're going to be talking about a guy on within the next couple of weeks, a guy like Rondale Moore. He does not have the size. Now, he has the bulk, but he doesn't have the size, right? Sure. And there's been tons of receivers out there that have dominated. Marvin Harrison was a Hall of Fame wide receiver. And, yes, of course, he had Peyton Manning. But, you know, Peyton Manning also had Marvin Harrison. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's a Hall of Fame. And I would love to see him offset like a guy like Reggie Wayne, right? Like a guy that's going to be a nice, bigger possession receiver. Like a guy like 
Devontae Smith and Allen Robinson would be a great combination uh, between the two. So, Unfortunately, you know, Andy Dalton. Thrown him and, and I'm really intrigued to see where he's going to go in, the, in this NFL draft. Like, where, you know, everybody's saying Jamar Chase is number one, and that's fine, and I get it. But, like, I'm taking Devontae Smith here at 1-1, not only my dynasty leagues, but also for my NFL team. Uh, he, he very well could be in play for Miami at six. Uh, it's definitely a possibility he could reunite with his old quarterback. And, and what I love about that is he's reuniting with Tua, and he there's no question he's the number one talented sure. receiver on the team. You know, we mentioned Jamar Chase. Does he go to the Bengals? Well, okay. I can argue that T. Higgins, Higgins offers right. more upside than Jamar yep. Chase potentially. Devontae Smith on uh on on the Miami Dolphins, he's the number one. Right. And like you said, he mentions he's already got two of there he's got familiarity with. I think it'd be a great pick for the Dolphins. Him, Gasicki, and Devontae Parker, like he fits right into there. To a stock would be it'd be mm. nice. So mm. I mm. love him as a wide receiver easily. Wide receiver one for me. Me too. Over Jamar Chase. Yep. And, and you know, Jamar Chase, I think, is really good at a lot of things. Uh, Devontae Smith was exceptional in a lot of areas. I, I forgot to mention it. 80.85 for me. The only player to cross the 80-point threshold, uh, almost 81, honestly. So he's, uh, yeah. Did, did, anyone, he did anyone last year uh, crack that 80? They did not okay. for me personally. Okay. Now, overall, our scores, they did. Okay. But in my, my personal who, ones. Who did? Do you remember off the top of your head? I, I didn't have anybody C- last year, but overall. CeeDee Lamb C- and yeah. Devontae Smith graded out as our top guy combining both classes. Okay. See, I, would, I, would, I do like CeeDee Lamb's tape. Like, if we combine the classes, mm-hmm. I would 100%. This is no knock to Devontae. We, we talked him up here. I would take CeeDee Lamb over him for sure. Like I liked I like CeeDee Lamb. It's that close much. for me. I like Devonta a hair more. I just think I think uh C C D Lamb offers that a higher, I guess, a higher touchdown upside, I guess. Does that even make sense? I mean, no, that makes sense. Well, a little better you know contested I mean? catch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean You know what I mean? Like just along those not I, I said easily, but like they're that close. Seven out of ten CD. times you take CD. I would take CD most yeah. of the time. So even even the spot locked in with Dak, because I think Amari's gone two years, you know what I mean? I just I know for sure, but let's yeah, see what happens. Yeah, if it, if it was today, I would definitely take CD, knowing already the landing spot and all that. Because even sure. with Devontae yeah. with Tua, it doesn't I'm going like, just off a of prospect. Yeah, you know what I mean. On no. all the above, I like CD the best. And there's not a, there's not really a situation I don't think Devontae could go to that would even top that because I think Dallas is such a good landing spot for CD Lamb as Kansas well. City. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that'd be a good spot for him. I guess. I mean, that, that there's no, okay. there's there's no way that but that's gonna there's happen. There's so many balls <laughs> to go around there. Uh, you know what I mean? But even if like. A team like Atlanta took a guy so like Devontae Smith. So many balls to go around. So many balls. All about, the balls. About, what, about 106? <laughs> Just added a guy, so maybe 108, you know, to go around. <laughs> well, plus, you know, you take, you know, all the CD, footballs as well. CD he, was our second graded wide receiver combining classes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. Two high-end guys. Look how that panned out. 